from Marks and Motherhood and today I'm going to show you guys the new updated Azaria Petite in Plum. I'm going to pack it up for you guys, give you my pros and cons, show you all the on the body stuff. If you want to skip ahead to certain sections, I will link the time cards down below. But otherwise, let's take a look. So like I've done on the other bags, I'm going to show you guys the bottles on the inside of the bag as well as on the outside of the bag. So first we have it on the inside, as you guys can see, and it actually still packs up pretty well. They're easy to take out. Everything is easy to access. For the most part, you can get to all the pockets with them on the inside. So if this is something that you're wanting to do, I definitely think it works. This is a 12 to 15 ounce sit by swell at Target and it slips into that pocket pretty easily as long as there's nothing else in the inside bottle pocket. Then this is a 21 ounce slim water bottle also from Target. And again, it also slips inside here pretty well as long as nothing is on the outside, or sorry, the inside bottle pocket. When they are on the outside, this is how it looks. Alright, so this is how I've been carrying my bag with all three of my kids lately, and I really, really like it. Now, even though this does not stay totally flush on the outside of the bag, and I don't always love the look of water bottles on the outside of bags, it is a lot easier to get this water bottle in and out of this outside pocket than it is for me to get it in and out of the inside of the bag. So I do keep it on the outside and all of my kids use the same bottle so, um, or the same water bottle. So I have quite a bit of stuff because like I said, this is everything that I'm packing for all of my kids. So I'm going to start in the main compartment and then show you guys the pockets. So here in the back of the main compartment, I have a boogie board for my 18 month old. He's lost one of the little pieces, but he loves this thing. Then I have my Gather Micro Plus changing mat, my Orchid Hearts wipes case, two size six diapers, and then right here, just because I have my water bottle on the outside, so I just have it tucked on the side of the diapers, I have my cookie safe with a couple of granola bars. My son tends to carry his own snacks, so I just have one for my four-year-old and 18-month-old, and that's all for the main pocket. Now, like I said, nothing in this bottle pocket, just because I do keep a bottle on the outside, but on this side bottle pocket, I have the Welly first aid kit that we really love, that has kind of all the basic stuff that you need on the go, band-aids, first aid ointment, that kind of thing. Then here, in this back pocket, I have my UB pencil case. This is all I take for my older two to entertain them. My son likes having his own little notebook to draw on with lots of colors. And then I have a play pack that my 18 month old can use one for my daughter, and then if my son feels like coloring, one for him. And then oftentimes I have stickers in here, but yeah, they've used them all. <laughs> so that is all for their little activity pack. Now back behind that pocket, there is a key fob, which I don't have anything on right now. But in the zipper pocket back here, I have my small GGB set piece that has all of my travel makeup and things. Then that's all. So it's a pretty roomy pocket, which could fit a ton more, but all I have in there is the small GGB set piece. Then on this side, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw these pockets, I didn't think they'd really be able to hold anything or be very functional, so I was actually really surprised when the larger pocket could fit my Fond Design charging clutch. So that's there on that side, and as you saw, it's super easy to stick in and stick out. And I really like it there, and it's still not taller than the bag, which is really nice. So if you do have a bigger wallet, that pocket works really well, which is always a bonus. Then here in this pocket, I have hand sanitizer, 
And I have some lotion, I believe. Yep. Some Honest Body Lotion. And that is all for the inside of the bag. I did this a little bit backwards this time. So here in the front pocket, that is also magnetic. I have some wet ones just so they're easy to access. And then here in this zipper pocket, I have my coin purse that just has chapstick, rubber bands, bobby pins, all that sort of stuff for me and my daughter. And I also have a thing of Kleenex just so it's easy to access. And other than the backpack straps that I keep back here, there's nothing in this um, back pocket. So that's all for the bag. Now, as far as pros and cons on this bag, I really don't have a lot of cons. Well, I love the hardware. I love how easy it is to wipe clean. You even saw that little spot I just swapped off. And their logo. I do wish there were some feet on the bottom just because it tends to get dirtier, as you just saw with me wiping it clean, when there's nothing to keep it off the ground. And that seems to be a pretty common thing with bags, so I'm kind of surprised it's not on this one. I do really like the backpack straps. They're pretty easy to attach and unattach. They're not as easy as clipping on a backpack strap. However, that does make it so it's a much smoother feel on your back. The grab handle works really well. I do wish that the tote strap would go a little bit shorter just so it was easier to carry tote style instead of just crossbody, but I'm petite so that's probably part of the reason. And when this bag is packed full, it does tend to just slip off your shoulder. So for me personally, it works a lot better to carry it crossbody or as a backpack. But yeah, all the other features I really, really love. Like I said, those two pockets, I wasn't sure how much I was going to like them, but they actually pack up really well. There's lots of great internal organization. Everything in here wipes clean really easily. It opens nice and wide, so tons and tons of great features on this bag. I love the color of this bag, and it's perfect for fall and really year-round if you wear darker colors like me. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys it on the body. and plum. I am hoping to get a comparison up of this bag with the other mini bags so if you aren't already be sure to subscribe hit that bell and you'll be notified as soon as I upload it. I will also try to update the description box but life gets crazy so just be sure to check back for that again before Black Friday. If you guys have any other questions just comment down below you can always DM me on Instagram and I can snap a picture if you're wanting to see something else specific inside of this bag and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.